that's you, also you, very fickle. Yeah, but that's on, the like, game, you know. Yeah. But like, it's like I'd rather. It's like I know I could, you know, bury someone with like making four points on something, or I can just make fifty cents and retain them, for, make more money over. Two You'll years. get them for eight points over the course of eight weeks. Exactly. So I mean, our goal is just is not to rake anyone over the coals, but really it was our focus it was on high end flour. And it didn't matter. It's like everyone was like, I, I, I saw what other people were doing. Like, I know you can buy shittier weed and make a better margin, but for us, which made so people doja and, then and just, just keep get, coming get back. Yeah, I just know I'll just keep them coming back. And then when the price drops down, and now that we have a grow, it's just like our goal is to have the best flower on all shelves uh, across the board, you know. Uh, and you have a rewards program. So the re- let's say frequent flyers for those that are yeah, we got regular that. drinkers in the weekend. They want to grab a pre-roll just yep. before. You know, it's the house that pre-roll built. You can literally just swing through, grab it, points go towards your next, and then what? Every, yeah, so fifty you, get five off. Yeah, so out? you like sign up, your phone number, and you get a dollar joint for signing up. Oh, look at that! Yeah, right shout out game. to the joint rollers. Um, and then uh, I think it's like you spend a hundred, you get five bucks off. Um, two, yeah, that's a deal. Yeah, two hundred, and then I think it's you know ten bucks. A hundred dollars is easy. Easy, yeah. and then the real the real money grab is at five hundred. You get fifty dollars off, and then twenty five percent off. A non-flower product, which is a great – so it's like you want to get a bucket of Harmony extract, 8-gram bucket, you get 25% off. And then the big one's a 1000 which is a $100 store credit, and then 50% off a non-flower item. So you get 50% off your 4-gram bucket of 710 or Olio or Green Dot. So I mean, you can end up – yeah. Yeah, people Not love it. Not necessarily rake y'all, but at the same time, yeah, so you, most, get, you get a little bang for your buck on the yeah, back end. Most people wait for 500 to 1000 and it's great, man. We love the loyalty. We want you guys to come back, and that's why we do it. And then obviously we have daily deals. You just look on the website for that. I'm not going to go over those because well, I probably quick, don't know. Before we go into personal stuff, tell everyone how they can find y'all. Right, obviously, yeah. Weed Maps Pot Guide, but yep, yep. tell us a little bit. Find you on social. Yeah, so like we're, our, we're, our social media presence is, is is lacking. I'll be the first to admit, but we're at Shop Cali's. Uh, Spell and, that because it's and, funky. Yeah, yeah. It's, my mom kind of put a nice spin on it. So it's Shop, S-H-O-P-P-E. Shop-A. Yeah, Shop-A. Cali's, <laughs> C-A-L-L-I-E-S. Um and then we also have shopcallies.com, which we just launched our website since we have these new locations opening. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we had a great social media girl who just moved back to Connecticut. So we're trying to find someone to replace her. In the meantime, I'm I'll in help. charge. Yeah. I'll oh, help. yeah. Kip's in charge of it now. So there'll be a lot of you'll liquor get posts. Black. We'll you'll get, get, yeah, we'll get banned. You'll get blacklisted. And then uh, now. we also have at Shop Callies Grow, which we're starting to launch up. So you can kind of take a look into our grows. And our um, our pheno hunting and kind of what we're doing on a, a cultivation level. See the back level. end. Of our, yeah. See what's behind. It's kind yeah, of like you, behind the counter kind of stuff. That's the goal. Yeah. You know, just show. You know, it's fun to see it because it's so normal to us. Uh-huh. I mean, you go through grows and, and dispensaries. People so, love these episodes. Yeah. So it's like for more. me, like I, I live in pot shops. I live in grows. So it's like it's normal to me. I a, but when like people come visit and tour, it's like people are into it. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, not everyone, everyone does. Exactly. You know, it's always nice to bring bl- someone through the grow or they come behind the pot shop counter and look at all the weed. And because uh, you remember, a lot of people are always on the other side of the counter. So, yeah, you know, it's I something mean, we take for granted. You get to go to every grow in the, I mean, the world and you get to go to all the pot shops and all the restaurants. It's so a tough life. Someone's got to do it. You figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I won't say I figured it out. I, sh- I still have a roommate. And uh, I think my apartment size of your bathroom, but nope, nope. you seem you have it figured out, and we're excited to learn more about yeah. you. But I'm also fired up for the new location. So yeah, congrats the rhino, to the whole Cromer family. Yeah, so yeah, we have North Glen, which is on 104th in Huron. Uh, North Glen didn't know anything about it until we bought a license there, and that's a great shop. Shout big. out to North Glen. Yeah, Surprise! Uh, shout out to Wing Cave, man. We got to go out there. They got the best wings in Colorado. Whoa, that's a up. tall that's, order. Do you yeah, hear I'm, that Denver Wing Associates? Yeah, they're coming for your one. throat, man, dude. Yeah, they uh, they bought. What's the name of it? Uh, Wing Cave, man. Yeah, Wing, Wing Cave. Cave. Yeah, on 104th. Yeah, shout out to Big G up there at Wing Cave, man. They got the best, really good michelada, and they got some really Ooh. good wings. Yeah, shout out to my guy, Fat Guy. He put me on micheladas a couple years ago yeah. with a little shrimp okay. cocktail. On top of them, yeah. You, I think you, you fucking party. I think that. you can get the premium one. I think it's got like a meat stick, bacon, possibly some uh, camarones. I don't. I mean, there's all sorts of things. I like that. Are yeah. you do, are you uh, bilingual? I, no, I am not. My brother is, but you know, you spend enough time in uh, in California. Guy, He's right? the finance. Yeah, when, when you spend enough time in California, you can at least you know pronu- roll your R's correctly. You know, I'm trying to get enough time in Europe that I can start rolling my R's like the Frenchies. I want to be a frog when I get That's older. Life goals, man. Dude, you know? I just want to sit on the patio with those old blue hairs <laughs> Dude, that, with smoke the, cigarettes. 
Kids. smoke cigarettes, drink wine at lunch, and have a badass well, scarf collection? Well, Kip, oh. I, I think you're kind of on the way, man. If you uh, if you put your <laughs> mind to it, I feel like we'll you'll be doing stoned appetite from uh, a cafe somewhere over over the big the big pond, you know? Just go fly across the pond, start doing Amsterdam episodes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, shout out to if United uh, Airlines wants to be my sponsor. I'm looking for a new airline partner. Well, we're gonna have to bring you out to Spanibus next year. Yeah, uh, I'm in. I, I want in on all of that. That's a good one. I'll that's be the a, marketing guy. I'll be good, social media guy. That's a, if that's yeah, exactly. Better. You're good at your just, phone. Yeah, just you know? expense yeah. my trip to Spain. I got we'll you. We'll do Spanibus. We'll go see, uh, see the homies over there, man. We got a good Spanibus. program over there. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good event. But um, <laughs> we'll be back to you know, the Rhino location. So we got North Glen, uh, which is a wonderful community. We love that store. We have a great group of uh, locals. Uh, we love serving that community. It's a great, great area. Tons of parking. Huge, huge dispensary with t- lots of social distancing. If you're into the COVID thing, if you're not, Who's it's entirely up to you. It wants to get, either way, I there's, know what you mean. if I know you like six feet, there's the there's 12 feet there. So it's a big <laughs> store, great weed selection. Then we're opening these two new locations. Uh, we have one on uh, down here on Rhino and Larimer. Um, and... It's going to be next door or right there next to Rye Society yep, for those yep. that are listening. I can't mm-hmm. remember the exact address, but in between 30th and 32nd yep. on Larimer. Yep. Actually, primo location. Yeah, it'll be good. So we're uh, we're excited about that location, and then we're having parking, knock on wood, uh, which will change the game because, I mean, we know that how much stoners expo- hate, hate parking. Um, and then we have another location that's attached to our cultivation facility over on West 8th uh, and Canosa. It's 777 Canosa uh, Court. It's kind of a weird location, kind of industrial. Uh, but for all those, you know, it's a pretty those, sick setup, though. Yeah, it's cool yeah. for all the blue collar people, man. It's a, it's a good zone if you're if you're picking up air filters or going to the, the plumbing place. Good place to pick up some pre rolls and uh, you know. Some it's right meat. off the interstate too. Like yep. you're about to right jump off, off or on eighth and yep. at twenty five, so you can literally dip on, dip out, grab it before you head home to the burbs if you're trying to find the commute. Yep. It's yeah, it's like right off I twenty five. It's an easy in and out. So yeah. we're really excited about that location. Uh, we're doing some, we're actually working with uh, a mural artist and going to do a kind of a cool mural there. And uh, you know, we're just Trying to, you know, liven it up. Most people don't know it's a pot shop. So we're, uh, it used to be strain wise, it used to be Pando, and it was Botanico. So it was Botanico 2. And yeah, then that's the, what the was, location Botanico. in Larimer is Botanico, the original Botanico location, which will now be Shop Cali's Rhino. Um, so looking forward to these new spots and looking forward to kind of migrating into the Denver scene. We know it's a lot more competitive with pricing, but we just, we still see the need for good flour, man, and, and accessibility and um, just trying to have, you know, all those really nice high end uh, concentrate lines, good flour. Good edibles. Uh, we do carry Incredibles, you know, for your sponsor. I don't have the new line yet. I need samples, whoever the sales rep is for my, my territory. And, uh, yeah, we're just looking forward to just doing what we do in North Glen, and, uh, which is provide really high-end flour, good service, good customers, uh, good customer service, and uh, just a good overall experience for, for you as a consumer, you know. Well, I know that you play a fantastic host, not only in your home, but also in your grow. So I can only say the same will come about uh, with the Rhino location mm-hmm. for everyone that walks in the door. I am no different than uh, every other person. Uh, we all, all of our money speaks the same. So yeah, no, and it doesn't it's matter what you're, what you're buying, man. We're, we're excited to have you, and we're really looking forward to uh, kind of being part of the Rhino community. I, I just moved down here a couple weeks ago. Um, from low high and, uh, you know, just looking forward to kind of checking out all the restaurants. That's nice that you'll be so close. You know, a fire alarm goes off, you'll mm-hmm. be there in a heartbeat. Yeah, that's kind of a, the double-edged sword. Uh, oh, go <laughs> lock up this. On call. Yeah, exactly. My family's out in, out in the burbs living the good life, and I'm stuck down here in Rhino. Uh, oh, yes. In Rhino. You are, you're really tough. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> we sit here as we look down yeah. on everybody in Rhino. It's a, it's a humble spot down here on Blake. Nice, you know? quaint little home it's, that you yeah, have. It's, it's a good zone. But, no, I'm looking forward to being part of the community, which is why I chose to move here. And kind of be part of it, and uh, immerse you know, yourself in the neighborhood. It's just necessary when you're launching a new brand, and honestly, it's I want to be part of a community, and it's it's Rhino, so we're we're here, and uh, they're gonna love you down here. We'll see. I'll, we'll, I mean, I'll Kip's introduce, introduce me, so we'll be Tommy good. Tommy Lee, yeah. best restaurant in Denver. Yeah, Hop Kip out. knows everyone, Il-Posto, so I'll be good. Best patio. People watching in Denver, shout out to Fritzy. Mm. Um, speaking of shout outs, before we get into the get to know you, I want to give a shout out to our friend Amy Webb. She works with mm-hmm. Evo Lab. Absolutely. I've been puffing tough on their disposables, but she's the reason that we've been able to get together yeah. here today and yep. our friend Andy Frasco. So yep. for those that are listening, Andy had a concert May 27th on at Red Rocks. If you missed it, go check out um, his page at Andy Frasco on social media. He does a dance party once a week. He has a television show. He Did just you released a new go single, Big Gigantic. Do you go to Red Rocks? Did I go to Red Rocks for uh, Frasco? Yeah. You bet I fucking did. Him What's and that? Keller Williams? I wouldn't have missed that man, for my world. That must have been a scene, man. Was it raining? 
It wasn't too bad. That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. Andy always brings the heat. So if you didn't catch him there, he's got a full tour going this summer, but he killed it at Red Rocks. Check out his stuff. Um, and then shout out to our friend Amy. Yeah, Amy, we appreciate it as always, man. Yeah, we love you. Okay, so you ready to get in the nitty gritty? Let's do it. All right, so these questions are tailored specifically about you that we definitely don't ask every single guest that comes on the okay. podcast. Mm-hmm. All right, so you mentioned you moved from Lohi to Rhino. Yep. We're going to start with, you've been here for a minute, you know the lay of the land. What was is was your go-to happy hour after a you know a mid in low high or rhino wherever Where, what's your go-to happy hour so we, we lived over on uh, off tejon um man i mean our, the staples are just they're hard we did a lot of senior bear you know one spot over there but you know what actually kind of stole my stole me away was this drink and then kip and i have talked about this they do an excellent job um food's great martinis need to be bigger but that's that's a battle I'm not going to win. Um, and uh, Hannah, the server over there, is just oh. awesome. Uh, it's, you know, she's so she deserves a shout out to anyone. That's the, the that's the foodie right there, man. And Amos and the whole team. Just yeah, the they do a good team. job, and they just happen. care. You know, it's it's a little bit Denver. expensive, but everything is expensive in Denver. But it's worth it. Every time I walk out there, I'm like, you know, there's a lot of times I walk into a dining restaurant or any kind of uh, you know restaurant. It just seems to be a lot of times I'm like, that wasn't worth the bank, you know. So like for me, when I when I feel like uh, it was worth the monetary, you know, spending. You're like, yeah. You're I like, that was worth it. And every time I go to Fishery, it felt that way. But, you know, for a patio in uh, in, in low, low high, it's got to be Senor Bear's patio. Um, and then, obviously, you can't go wrong with recess. I mean, it's, a little, Ooh, it's about to be the season for it, too. It, it is. is. She's going to be Memorial back. She's going to be open back up. It's going to be popular. And then in Rhino, man, I, I'm not. I'm learning the neighborhood. I, you know, the, the big places I always go down here in Rhino is definitely, definitely going to be Uchi. Um, and then a few other places. but uh, And then the favorite breakfast place, I know we're kind of just going going off the wall no, here. No, go for it. It's got to be ha- Javier's, man, on 38th. You like, wait, Javier's Diner on yep. Tennyson Street? Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, right Hobbies, down the corner. Man. Yep. Yeah, they lost their liquor license for a minute, but that's a great spot if you're they hungover. They load you down to yeah. this home and fries. And it's cheap. half a plate. Exactly. It's and like $6. It's, yeah. It's a, mm-hmm. That's a great bang for your buck. I do you like know? Javier's. Yeah, Javier's, man. Yep. I like it. I yeah. like it. So breakfast was going to be further on, but my that's next right. question will be – what is the last, I mean, I guess you said fish string, date night spot that you hit that you want to give a shout out to? Hmm, man. I'm trying to think what's. You big. think that's hard? Just wait for the really tough That's all question. good. I, you that's know, my really last. Tough questions out there. I, dude, I went to. I'm trying to think where I went. Make a drink. I'm yeah. Make a drink. Yep. All right, we're back after a quick cocktail make. We are asking Charles, best, our last most recent date, where'd you go? It was Hillstone, now that I'm thinking about it. And Hillstone does a great job as well. I know. We Hillstone, are, we are, Cherry Creek? We already talked about Cherry Creek and Kip's <laughs> lack of love for Cherry Creek. Yo, Cherry Creek has a place, man. The Halcyon, that's where I, that's my home away from home when I'm when I'm doing a little staycation. Dude, so, you should go to Jacquard. Or shout out to our friends over at the Clayton Membership Hotel. Yeah, totally. I'm, I haven't. I, I, I got an application. I didn't fill it out. It was too long. I was like, yo, can I just pay the fucking money and join? Like, what's up, man? See, I filled like, out the application, but I didn't want to pay the money. Yeah, well, I, the money wasn't the issue. I just was like... This, this, this Two, is, cheers. Yeah, it's like there's five questions about how, how you know how unique I am. I'm like I, I'm in the dope game. I'm eccentric. I'm loud. I'm fun. I don't know what else you know. What else are you looking for? I mean, it's it's like I'm not in finance. I'm not a traditional businessman. It's like just let me in. Can I please come in now? Yeah. <laughs> you know, let me in, you know. So I, you know, I heard wonderful things about it. Uh, I just don't really want to fill out the application. Um, Jesus Christ. I, I don't. I love it. I also don't know if it's worth it yet. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I've, I know people have checked it out. I know there's a couple of people I know have joined it. Um, and it's be, to be decided, you know, when, when it's. When you do join, I'm going to come be one of your plus ones this summer perfect. for pool days. Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, listen, you know, we're, we're looking forward to, you know, I just need a tour, guys, so let me know, you know. Yeah, if you're listening, um, I think her name was Rachel. Rachel, I think, does the tours. She's right, you a, checked it out, huh? Yeah, so we went on. I did the uh, media night stuff, mm. and then the review I left, I said, rich and pretty people. I think I did, yeah. Nice. And then I don't think they were very receptive to that idea. No, because they, be, they don't want to be that. But They want that, they want to be Soho House without they say being Soho House. house man. I yeah, it's like I want to be I want a Soho House in, in Denver. That'd be epic, you know. I also think whoever is an entrepreneur and thinking, uh, you know, looking to do something, I'm telling you, man, a day a daytime pool scene would be a thing, you know. I, I think it would be wonderful. I, I would love to go. And also, we need a better daytime lounge playing good house music, man. I think we're, we're lacking in that. I mean, do you have a place you can go to in the daytime where a good DJ is spinning a good set during the day in like a kind of a vibey setting? 
indoor, no, outdoor. I mean, nothing that opens before 4 o'clock. Exactly. But like 30 is the first one that comes to mind. And that's dope. But like the DJs are kind of sussy every once in a while. I mean, that's Thursday, the same for that guy's. House. Yeah, that no, it's sucks. like, so I think we need a place. It's like some people want to send it at 11 o'clock on a Saturday. It'd be nice to be able to go catch a, a brunch and walk into a 1 o'clock show or like a set. I mean, Four Seasons just re, uh, re uh, did their pool or did their, redid their restaurants. The Edge. Weird spot, man. I mean, yeah, it's obviously, it's going to be pool gas combo. You don't want a 28 ounce uh, bone and ribeye? No. Don't they have a tomahawk down there? They get that? I'm sure they. I mean, I everybody know. has a tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be like a four ounce steak, and like a two pound bone. Yeah. 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 <laughs>